how to add screen tones, oh, you can't see it, <laughs> on my manga page using Ibis Paint. This is the manga page. This is my manga that I've made. And we are going to make a manga on our smartphone. Because I know people have asked me, how do you make a manga on the smartphone? So this is the next video. Let's do our screen tones. If you're wondering what the canvas size is, what brush I use for inking, go ahead and check out the other videos that I have in this playlist. But let's go ahead and add our screen tone. There's lots of different ways to add screen tones. This is what I like to do. So first, make sure I'm staying in the frame. First, we're gonna click our layer button. If you're like, hey, I don't see that there, you might have it like drop down. I'm using Ibis Paint on my Android smartphone. If you're like, what about an iPhone? I don't have an iPhone at this current time. So anyways, if you don't see that bar, just click that up arrow and it shows right there. I'm gonna actually make a new layer. This is my line layer, you see? Line and panels. I'm gonna click that plus sign and that's gonna create a new layer. Why do I make it a new layer? Because I want to put my tones on this layer underneath my lines. You can do whatever you want, but this is what I like to do. Now that I have that there, I'm going to click this brush. And then I'm going to select brush. And I'm going to make it bigger. Like, I want the brush to be a bigger size. So we're just going to do that like that. Perfect. Why am I doing that? Because since I'm using my hands, I want to be able to see what I'm doing. <laughs> but anyways, here's the color that I want to use right here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go in. Let me change the color. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do that color. I'm gonna do this gray. And you're like, that's not screen tone. Just, just wait, there's a couple different ways to do this. And we could just fill this in. I'm gonna make it bigger. And just pretend like, just fill it in. And you're like, well, how does this turn into a screen tone? Give me a second. I'm gonna fill that in. And then I'm gonna go this color, a darker. And then I'm gonna fill in his hair <laughs> okay now let's go ahead and turn this into a screen tone watch 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 I'm gonna click my brush again and then I'm gonna go to filter and then I'm going to go over and I believe it's under either let's try pixelate I'm gonna select pixelate and then I'm just going to select let's do square no don't like that one let's do ah here we are dots and then I'm gonna make the size smaller and then I can make the density lighter and darker here but I'll keep it as is like that and then I could change the the angle so we can get that nice Mori effect I don't know if you guys can see but you see how it like changes but yeah, see, I can make the dots bigger and smaller. And that's how I can do, that's one method of how I can do screen tones. And I'm going to click that X to get that to go away. Now, the reason why I don't necessarily use this method all the time is because when I draw again, you see, it's still that. But that is, let me undo, undo buttons right there. But that is one method to do screen tones. Let me show the other one. Okay. Here is another way that I like to do screen tones. I'm going to select our layer button. Boop. And now, this is really cool because I didn't learn this until like later. But anyways, I'm gonna select, I have my tone layer selected that I'm gonna draw my tones on. I'm actually going to select this. And then if you see up here, it has blending mode. I'm gonna select screen tone. Boop. And then here are all of my dots. So. If I don't want to have to like, you know, use the effect tool and I just want to just draw the dots directly, I can do that. So now that I have, I'm going to select the dot four. We'll see how that looks. I'm going to make that go away and I have my brush selected. You see? Can you see the dots? And now this way I don't have to use the effect tool. Let's do a lighter color. Can you see the dots? And that's another way that I can add my screen tone by just using that. And I'm sure there's a, probably a third way on how to do that, but this is how I will go about adding my screen tones. I can either draw everything and then use the effect layer, or I can just use the screen tone layer. And boom, we can change the color of our screen tone by just choosing a darker color. So that might be more convenient for you. You might like that method better. 
Now, let me show you how I do gradients. There's a lots of different ways to do gradients, but this is just like one simple way that I like to do it. So I'm still on that same layer. I like to keep stuff separated from my lines just in case I mess up. I'm gonna select my brush. I'm gonna use my magic wand because I wanna just select his shirt. Okay, it's selected. Now, for this, I think you have to have internet access, but I'm gonna select this thingy right here and it's gonna pull up all the different material. I might be wrong with the internet access, I don't know. But if I scroll like all the way down, you'll see the gradients or you can type right here and just type in gray, I know how to spell, D, int. <laughs> thinking that didn't do what I wanted to do forget what I said anyways it's right here oh gradation let me try that gradation are you gonna pull up the actual grade D grade D grade D I I can spell you guys can trust me I can spell okay I can't spell so anyways it's right here <laughs> So we're gonna select this one and then I'm gonna go ahead and download it so that way I can use this. I'm gonna start too just so it goes in my favorite spots. But that way I can use it without an internet connection. And then you see it's right here. You see? That's my gradation. And I can I don't know what this does. So those who do know what that does, feel free to share in the comments below. But anyways, I'm going to I can drag it like that and then Get put pull it down right about there I'm gonna do it right there because I want this part of the selection there and there we go that's why I added that selection there because I only want the the tone to fill in that selection and then I can go ahead and remove the selection by clicking this button here so yeah let me go ahead and just fill in this part and then show you guys the thing alrighty here we are don't ask me why that's not filled in it it's what it is I have to fix it but anyways this is what we got this is that's how I do my screen tones and make a manga in Ibis paint on my smartphone because I know some people are asking can you make manga on a smartphone what if I don't have a computer you can and then some people ask can you make manga on paper you can and you know some people might ask can you make manga with rocks I mean I'm sure you can <laughs> I'm sure there's a way to do that anything is possible we are artists we are creative problem solvers but the next video that I believe we will go over is how to add the word balloons, what font I use, and the word balloons that I like to use. And again, there's lots of different ways to add screen tones. There's lots of different ways to do everything. So don't feel like you must do this way my method because it's, there's other ways to do stuff. And if you're wondering what manga this is, this is for my manga Whisper of Cinnamon, Whisper of Cinnamon that I've been working on and posting onto Patreon. And then here's another one of my manga that I made called School Memories. This one is available. You can like borrow at the library if you don't have monies or you can buy your own copy. And then of course my other manga that maybe a few of you might be familiar with, Love Love Fighting. So I, I've made a lot of comics and manga over the years. <laughs> your girl is always drawing because she likes to make stories and whatnot. But yeah, make sure you subscribe so you can check the next video on this playlist of how to make a manga using ibis paint on your smartphone and remember you're doing a great job don't give up go ahead and do your action step your action step is to pick a screen tone method that you want to do whether it's effects or whether it's a screen tone layer and have fun okay i also forgot to mention that um i use a lot of reference <laughs> when i'm trying to like figure out what what screen tones to add i look at how other manga artists add their screen tones but I also like, oh, this is very close up. I also like these how to draw manga books that show different techniques. Like they have this one for the basic tone techniques. I think a lot of them are out of print, but you can probably find them on thriftbooks.com or eBay or Amazon or whatnot. But this one shows like basic tone techniques. This one's uh, computer style for those who use Photoshop, but I mean, it still has good information. Um, on how to like depict metal and shade a room and whatnot. And then I also like this one. Again, this is for more so traditional, you know, screen tones. But it's still, I like how it shows you how, how they create stuff and shadows using screen tones that I can apply with my digital stuff. 
and then compelling techniques that one's a good one so yeah that's how i figure out what tone to use how to use and all that stuff reference i use reference i have reference reference and i need to clean my office so shh, don't worry about it hello children you guys see teal you guys see the void here let me you still can't see him you still can't see him. He's right there. You see him? <laughs> hello, Tio Zanto. Can you say hello? 